Welcome to this webinar. Our topic today is uh, Modbus 101. And this is actually a part of a set of webinars. And uh, this one will be run by me. And I have also Paul Daniel with me. So I'm a product engineer here at Weisel and my responsibility are all the industrial instruments and uh, all the application related topics and so on. So Paul, maybe you can introduce yourself as well. Hey guys, I'm Paul Daniel. I'm the senior GXP regulatory expert at Weisela. I focus on regulatory uh, applications like uh, pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and uh, hopefully bring a, a unique perspective here to um, how to bring digital communication into uh, the system we use for monitoring those regulatory products. Okay, thanks, Paul. And, uh, let's go through the topics of today. First, we will talk about uh, how does digital communication differ from analog communication and what kind of benefits it can bring compared to the analog outputs. Then when we know the basic stuff of uh, digital communication, it's time to get started uh, with the Modbus communication and I will show you a hands-on session. How can you get started easily by using your own PC as a Modbus master and uh, service cable and a humidity probe. And final step is uh, we take a look how to connect uh, your device into a system by using Modbus RTU communication. So this is one of the oldest field bus protocols there is. This was developed by Modicon in uh, late 1979 and uh, their initial idea was that they will create an open protocol and uh, this was really a success and uh, nowadays this is uh, industry de facto. Typically if you pick a PLC brand of any brand it, it probably supports Modbus. And what is special about this service cable is that uh, this USB port will provide the power for the probe and also work as a RS-485 USB converter. Next is uh, to connect them into our systems. So typically the next step is we are building some type of a prototype. Our uh, processes like storage of drugs has been uh, achieved at the within the re required uh, specifications. Um, unlike the, the Siemens system, you know, which you gave an example of, or other PLC systems, V-Link doesn't do any control. You know, PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. V-Link is just about monitoring uh, to collect and to uh, store data. After, after Yoni's demonstration, I, I feel like I might be able to do it now because I understand it a little better. But in either case, I would need to get my sensor vendor involved, help me get it right. 